Welcome back to Let's Play Fable 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm not actually sure where we are. Somewhere in Aurora, which is apparently not a dead land after all. Kalim here has just invited us to see her city. Which looks rather substantially different from Welcome Bowerstone. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Walter. Awesome. A quest? Here? I will try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself with the strength you gave me. And I will try to lead our people as you left them. You stood against the darkness and were an example to us all. Your courage lives on in the hearts of every Aurora. I hope I will not disappoint you, your ever-loving daughter, Kaylin. Jasper, the what the hell are you doing here? I believe there are new items. I trust you are finding everything all right? Something like that. When in Rome. I wondered how all the bits went together. The overall effect is really quite excellent. Hmm. I believe that's the royal tattoo on my arm. I can't remember. Let's find out. Guild. Oh, the one I've got in my face. Oh no, that was a really elaborate one. I decided not to put it in my face. Ah well. I'm getting distracted anyway. wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. But no one is truly safe anymore. I watched through a window as my neighbors were torn out of their homes by those creatures. They operate in darkness as a blessing, for I could not see what was done to them. Only hear their screams and the crawler's laughter. And then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. I was certain this was to be my last day. And surely it would have been had dawn not begun to break. We are not ready for its return. We will never be ready. We will never be safe. No comment on the dude lying in the sand. This is one monster that is in a serious need of some killing. 
You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. Why is my tattoo green? And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Balin, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. Where's the hug button? No, seriously, this game actually has one. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep. And I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me. Always. I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been a massive influx of Auroran uh, refugees in Albion of late. I mean, yeah, there are some boats. Those exist here. You've got to be fucking kidding me. The world needs a big, strong man to put things right. You know any, my lady? I can't pull out my gun or my hammer. What are you? Rad. Compensating for something? A lot of his insults, uh, seem to consist just of calling me a woman. I wonder what he falls back on if you actually are a woman. Alright, crew, set sail for anywhere but here. Oh dear. Oh good, I'm floating off the ground. I was, uh... In Fable 2, you get taller every time you upgrade your ranged ability. And uh, after a while, I inevitably, you know, without, you know, cheating to give myself an overpowered uh, uh, ranged power or anything, I became so tall that I no longer worked with the animations that, uh, for opening a chest, my hands would levitate a good six inches off the surface of the chest. It got to the point where, uh, when the Not Hold Island DLC came out that had all the potions that let you cosmetically change your appearance at will, I, uh, drank the potion to make myself slightly shorter so that the animations would work again. 
Oh, sorry. suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Logan? Seems your big brother has been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived. No wonder he turned evil. He left the with a possessed. that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships. And we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us. Nor because we thirst for revenge. But because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora. And allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony. Not a thing to be used. But a place with a voice in your court. I'm not sure how you that would make, make it not a colony, but, uh... Okay. Nope. I promise. Then let us go to war. I hereby promise to rebuild Aurora and protect its people. Something more uh, comfortable. A timeless classic. Smart ass. Can't remember. Does this have all the tattoos? Never remember. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Someone asked me in the comments yesterday. About uh, how those three things at the top work, or specifically the magic aura. Oh, look, that's gotten stronger. I'm not certain of this, because, you know, no one's ever told me, but uh, I think the way it works is those three go up the more you use melee attacks, ranged attacks, and magic, respectively. So I'm crazy strong because I use the hammer all the time, but my stature has only just started to go up because. I couldn't really rely upon my gun until I got this uh, rifle. That being said, let's find out what, uh. Theresa has to say. She's got a lot of explaining to do. She might have mentioned that my brother was possessed. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. No comment from the peanut gallery? Nothing? Fucking A. Did the blind seer not warn you? Did she not tell you of me? Alright, what's this one chest? Oh, hell yeah! Blades is an awesome spell. Yeah. 
You have a new type of gauntlet available. Uh... Excellent choice of gauntlet. That's weird. I could have sworn you could have used magic here. Ah, well. Let me just run back and see if there's anything I missed. Nope. Not interested, not interested. These aren't even necessary. Oh. Ability to fart on people would be absolutely hysterical. No one can deny this. No! I was trying to run, not open this. Mashing B. Oh, fuck. Fine, great. Now level 4 pies can be made. Oh. I don't know how I missed that. White, lime, yellow, and brown. It's been a while. Take a look in here. There are more chests inside. That would be the level three uh, melee ranged and magic then. But it looks like that's where it ends. Which is strange. is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> Walter. <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. You know, I could have sworn that was a death scene in the previous episode, but I'm glad it wasn't. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on. It's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. I still can't get my gun out. Man. Well, if that's the case, then I must be able to sail back here at some point. Alright, I've got it. 
I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future king to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. <laughs> I see you've really matured on your travels. If you look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. Less chance of getting lost. Then we have agreed. Are you sure you're up to Oh, this man. Point? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired, but the day hasn't come yet, and I can't charge into a good old fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin. Hot damn. The war is beginning. Our people are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help. We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Can you? Come on. That was close. The promise you made to Kaylin is now on the wall with the others. Rad. Well. The battle for Albion has begun. Welcome to the sanctuary. And we're going to fight it in the next episode of Let's Play... I was about to say Burning Dog Face. Let's play Fable 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then!